Hello, friends. It's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. Hope everyone's well. Taurus Gemini, you are next in line for the cusp baby readings. So we're going to hop right into it. If it resonates, take it. If not, leave it on the table. Time is fluid. If you're a cross watcher up in here, you're going the extra mile to figure out your person. That's amazing. I applaud you. If you're new here, think we my vibe and stuff, you can hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. Super cool of you if you could do that. If you're returning, welcome back. I appreciate you stopping back by. Go ahead and leave a comment. Hmm. Moon card came out for you. That's interesting. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces. Some of you could be just very much in the dark about something. Ah, oh, what was I saying? Anybody can hit the like button at any time. It's all very much appreciated. It all helps the channel grow and helps the videos to be circulated to those who may need the best of this. And even if you aren't, you know, a person whose birthday sits on the Taurus Gemini cusp and you happen to come upon this video, you are meant to see it. So take whatever message out of it that you feel you need to. Never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. And once again, if it is not your story, just leave your cards on the table and walk away. I'm going to tip down. We're going to hop into it, guys. Okay. Oh, that was, that was the Two of Cups. And it landed in the reverse. Uh, it's a breakup story. Super sad and stuff. Cool. And Queen of Pentacles. You better believe you got something to offer, baby. You to catch. <gasps> yes. It's communication. And why? Oh, honey. Oh, honey. We'll get something on this in a minute. Uh, maybe the offer coming in is too small. Why? Might be an apology. I don't know. Ah, I see. Seven of Wands and the Devil came out together. Could be an internal struggle. Could be attached to something else. Could have been some toxic crap going on. Boozing, drugs, addictions. Six of Pentacles reverse. Okay, oh, why the four of wands, I wonder. All right. King of swords, king of cup. Well. This may require a logical poker face. We have strength at the bottom of the deck. Card of Leo, card of holding back. Now you got me curious, Taurus Gemini Cuspers. Now y'all got me curious. What kind of story are we telling here? All right, two cups reversed in the sun. So your challenge is y'all broke up. Okay. Y'all broke up. Probably not sure what happened. Probably left in the dark about some stuff. 
You're holding back from the situation. It's taking everything you got. Challenges finding happiness. Two cups reversed. Okay. Queen of Pentacles. One on the Queen of Pentacles. Two of cups into the Three of Cups. That tells me this. Yeah, third party. Six of Cups into the Seven of Cups. You're the catch. You got options. Yeah, there's so maybe you got options. You got options. Why well, the Knave of Pentacles? What's up with that? What's up with the Knave of Pentacles? Two swords reversed, three swords reversed. Ooh. One more. I see you sending somebody packing. I'm telling you that right now. Ace of Cups to the Two of Cups. Difficult decision. Try not to break somebody's heart, but you're off to new. You're off to new. You're shopping. You've decided to explore your options. You're going to decide to explore your options in the coming months. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Four of Wands reversed to the Five of Wands reversed. You would just soon close this door and avoid conflict or engagement with this person. And I don't mean the engagement where you get married. I mean the engagement where you talk. You deal with them. You've decided to not deal with them or you're going to decide to not deal with them. Times fluid, place yourself wherever you see fit. I want to know why. What's up with the Seven of Wands and this Devil? Could be a Capricorn. Could be a Leo. Ten of Cups to the Ace of Cups. Either you or them. Internal battle. Ace of Swords, Two of Swords. Yeah. Made the decision to end it. It wasn't an easy one, I don't think. But possibly things that came to light about some things going on that shouldn't have been going on. Cycle ended so a new cycle could begin. Six of Pentacles reversed. Why the Six of Pentacles reversed? Page of Swords, Knight of Swords, Truth, Honest Conversation Time, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, Ten of Swords to the Ace. So oh, shoot, this did. <laughs> Dang. This hurt. This hurt. It's like a wave, guys. It's like a wave. Ace of coins, two of coins reversed at the bottom of the deck. It's like a wave. Somebody was juggling. Somebody wasn't happy. Somebody made the difficult decision to end this.
It's like somebody was happy, but somebody wasn't. This was a difficult conversation. And I don't think it was... It wasn't a decision that was made lightly. How about that? Four of Wands. Talk to me about this Four of Wands for what happened. Why it happened. That's an open door. King of Wands, Page of Wands. The Fool. Seven of Coins to the Eight of Coins. The Fool into the Magician. Somebody wanted more. Somebody chose to go and invest elsewhere, manifest what they wanted. And because of that moon card, I feel like it was you. I feel like you were left with a lot of unanswered questions, like if you're happy, why are we ending this? I feel like somebody had a third party attachment. I really do. And I don't necessarily mean cheating. I mean somebody had issues, yo. Somebody had some serious, serious demons. <sighs> Seven of coins, patience. I need one more on that. Oh gosh, that's a load. I'm going to take that one, put the rest back. Queen of Wands, King of Wands. This was a strong sexual connection. High Priestess, Empress. It was a strong soul connection. They could have possibly asked for patience and time. To detach... Because there is this connection here. And there's potential for growth, but with that devil card, somebody had some demons, yo. I feel like you're telling them to kick rocks. Because this three of wands, king of swords, king of cups, that three of wands is reversed. I feel like you're not going to wait. Give me one on that three of wands. Totally feel like you're not waiting here. Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands. Ace of Coins reversed, Two of Coins reversed. Is this going to grow? Have they defeated their demons? Can this move forward? King of Swords. King of Swords. King of Swords. Whoa, hi. King of Swords popped out. Can't make this shit up, guys. Page of Cups, Knight of Cups. King of Swords, Page of Cord. Ah, King of Swords, Page of Swords, Page of Cups, Knight of Cups. Guys. Guys. The make or break is the logical choice. That feels like a step back. One on this King of Cups. Emperor. Put those two back. That's a whole lot of cards. Emperor into the Hierophant. The moon into the sun. Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. We're leaving it. Okay. Guys. The make or break here. 
is having the emotions and being able to express them. What do you do with that? What do you do with the unanswered questions? Are there too many unanswered questions and too many unknowns for this to work out, for this to be able to push forward? Have they defeated their demons? Or if you're the one with the demons, have you defeated yours? Are you in any kind of place to take a cup? Are you in any kind of place to give a cup? Has enough control been taken back to be able to commit to something? Wow. Dang! I need moonology! That's a story, y'all. Whoa! I want to light some sage. Prosperity lies ahead. <coughs> okay. I'll take it. New moon in Taurus. This card will often come up when you're inquiring about a financial matter or when you're doubting your self-worth. The card suggests you can have what you want, including material things, but you must believe in yourself. This comes down to the law of attraction. Value yourself and others will value you too. You can create abundance. Taurus is associated with luxurious Venus, and this card holds the new moon energy. So now is a good time to make a 12-month financial plan. This card can also signal the start of a new relationship or of sexier times. If, you're, if you've been wrestling with something for a long time, the new moon in Sturgy Taurus is a sign not to give up just yet. Somebody's wrestling. Been wrestling for a minute. Wisdom Oracle. Happy, happy. Number 26. Two plus six is eight. Eight is a card of forward movement. It is the card of it is the number of infinity. Happy, happy number twenty six. Oh my gosh, you guys hear my stomach right now? Joy and contentment, a sense of fulfillment, a feeling that all is well. Your desires are effortlessly fulfilled now. Find joy in the present moment, whatever is happening, and be satisfied with things as they are. You're free from the shackles of longing and able to experience the liberation that comes from actually being happy moment to moment, for you have chosen happiness over yearning for it. This is the time for feeling joy for the sake of joy and experiencing contentment. None of this is because of something outside yourself. Your happiness is a result of your being at one with Spirit's plan for your life. All is well. The tide is in for now. Enjoy playfully splashing in it. Very right, gang. Taurus, Gemini, Cusp, Babies. I will catch you guys next month. Know that you are loved and be blessed. And peace, love, and light.